This week on the Snap Wrap, Andre Dury gets the cutest letter. Ken Austin parties like it's 1999. And it's a very CFL Halloween. Welcome to the Snap Wrap. I'm Brody. This is Max. And Andre Dury got the sweetest letter from 11 year old Brock this week. Went into his stats a little bit, which we adored, and just wanted to meet the guy after the game. So Max, read us a little excerpt from the letter. Yeah, my favorite part is, man, you're having an amazing comeback year. Your, your average is pretty much 10 yards per catch. Well, 9.9, .9, but between you and me, it's 10.0. And then after the game, yeah. Dury did find him. They met up, gave him a pair of cleats and a pair of gloves. It's pretty great. Beauties. With first place on the line, one of the more exciting games of the season, Ottawa and Hamilton go to overtime. Hamilton comes back, crazy game, and yep. at the end, we saw a side to Ken Austin that you don't see every day. Love this video. Love seeing Ken Austin fire up the boys post game, the jumping around. One of my favorite videos of the year. And if you guys live in the area, make sure to get down to Tim Hortons Field. Look at this beautiful spot. I mean, Pretty really, good. looks great for Friday's game when the Ticats host the Eskimos. Crossover preview, maybe? Halloween weekend is finally here, and we don't care if CFL players have already picked their costumes. We're gonna make some suggestions for them. Bo Levi Mitchell and Andrew Buckley in a tandem costume where Bo is Captain America and Buckley is Captain Canada. That's good. Someone in our office made a really bad suggestion about Bear Woods going as a bear in the woods. <laughs> but like, that's like... <laughs> Pretty weak. These are really bad. And sticking with my superhero theme, yep. um, Justin Madlock should go as Iceman. Ooh, that's good. When in doubt, I think costumes inspired by emojis are always a good idea. Like my backfall is always like red dancing girl, salsa lady. You, you've gone as that before? No, but I'm thinking maybe this year. And you, what, just do that all day? No, but it's like red dress. So I'm thinking for Team 100, Adam Big Hill and Solomon Alamimian, they yes. kind of go as the 100 emoji, that like swishy red right. emoji. Well, what about our buds? Would they go as Batman and Robin? So Greg Ellingson, Brad Sinopoli, someone's Batman, someone's Robin. But it's usually like when there's like a, a, like a leader and a follower, I feel like they're on equal levels. Coin flip, let's flip for it. If Chris Jones, because in Ryder Green, he goes as the Riddler, because okay. it's just like, you never know who's going to be in their lineup for any given week. Although it seems like they got to figure it out now, but like a record number of players in a season? Yeah, also Chris Jones is a friend of the show, so yeah. I'm not going to say anything, Max. I'll let you, uh, I'll let you take that I think one. he'd like that, actually. Yeah. You could see him with like a, like a, like a Riddler costume, like a gold cane. We could have our boy Ooh. Sean Lemon. Yeah. He could go with like, he could do like that costume with the lemonade stand, and he could like walk around and give out free lemonade at all of his parties. Very popular. Lemon drops. I suspect. If you guys are doing anything CFL inspired this Halloween costumes or like cool pumpkins, make sure you're tagging us at CFL. And Max and I are going on the road this weekend. Yep, we'll be in Regina for the Farewell Mosaic game. Yep. Friday, Facebook Live with an unknown Regina player. Yep. We'll find out who. And then Saturday, we'll be at the tailgate. So tweet Brody, tweet us, tweet the CFL, and we'll come by and we'll hang out. Should be a blast. Can't wait to meet you guys. We'll see you next week for more Snap Wrap.